lithium hydrogen ion exchange system. So we know the potassium is the greatest uh, inter intracellular cation, right? And we know that we can build up hydrogen ions in the blood when we're trying to control uh, pH. We can, a lot of different things can happen. We looked a little bit about how this happens in the kidney, but all types of things can exist to where this goes out of balance. So if we end up in metabolic acidosis, so increase in hydrogen, that's acidosis. Because we have this sodium-potassium exchange pump, we have the ability, within limits, to send hydrogen into this cell in exchange for potassium. What that does is it lowers the amount of hydrogen in the bloodstream, which brings us back into the physiologic pH range. Right? We're making one-for-one one ion exchange, so we're not changing the overall charge of the cell. If we change the charge of the cell, we disturb electrochemical gradients. But by exchanging hydrogen for potassium, we can increase the blood pH. So to relieve, no, I warning. So if we're in acidosis, acidosis is a crisis for our system. It's not a good thing. One of the ways we can relieve that is by using this potassium hydrogen exchange system to put hydrogen into the cell. And since we know we have a, just an abundance of potassium inside the cell, send potassium back into the blood. It doesn't affect the charge, but it will affect the pH. Those things are related, but they're not the same. So to relieve blood acidosis, We can exchange the excess hydrogen ions in the blood for potassium from a cell. The net result is you increase the blood pH, so you leave acidosis, but you decrease the potassium concentration in the cell. So the next step is going to be you have to increase the potassium in the blood so you can get more potassium in the cell, but temporarily you've solved the most pressing problem. So I'll erase this and I'll put it back later. So the next should be eating bananas and potatoes. <laughs> Next is what? The next thing should be eating bananas and potatoes. Exactly. Get some more potassium so you can, once you fix that, you can fix this. Okay, so in alkalosis, there is a paucity or not enough of H plus ions. To lower. Okay, so the opposite is true in alkalosis. In alkalosis, there's a paucity or a lower concentration of hydrogen ions in the blood. To lower the pH, you can take potassium ions into the cell and release hydrogen ions into the blood. The net result is you've lowered the blood pH because you added hydrogen ions, and you've increased the potassium in the cell. Now, if you increase the potassium too much, then you have a problem, but we have a sodium-potassium pump for that, right? We, as long as sodium has stayed constant, we can adjust for that and start running that 
we usually take potassium in and send sodium out, but we can downregulate that so that we're not taking as much in, and we have a way to regulate that. This is the driving factor. Um, because without maintaining the pH in the right range, in the blood we start to fall apart really fast. The cells have, a, because they're smaller, there are two things. One is they have a little more ability to regulate on the fly, or upregulate or downregulate or phosphorylate or dephosphorylate faster. But more than that, if we lose any one cell, it's not as much of a crisis as being in acidosis or alkalosis in the entire bloodstream. If we lose a lot of cells, we're going to have a problem. But we don't, like they, so going back to the kidney, there's this common refrain in medicine that you only need between an eighth and a quarter of one of your kidneys to do the work. That's why a lot of people can donate kidneys to friends or anonymously because you only need one and really less than one to do the work. Uh, the, there's a lot of redundancy in our system. So you can shunt the problem to something that is more expendable. So, because even if this cell cannot deregulate and undergoes apoptosis, you fix this problem, which means that all the rest of the cells can still get the nutrition that they need. And your red blood cells won't start lysing themselves like crazy. Okay. What does it say after there is a... Oh, paucity. So, like, a, I'll say a lack of. It's like a decrease of. Or a decrease in. I couldn't think of a good word that was one word, so that was... Okay, I'll take the picture of one side and then I'll take the picture of the other side. 